Today is World Television Day, so we are spotlighting the vital role TV plays in our lives now and back in the day. WGN radio host David Plyer wears many hats, including chairman and CEO of the Museum of Broadcast Communications. He's here to enlighten us on some TV history. Welcome, How Dave. are you? Thank you so Great much. Great to have you here. Okay, World yeah. Television Day. That yes. sounds like somebody made that up who <laughs> is in television. So the United Nations made that oh, up. Oh, good. In, yeah, in the Not 90s. just somebody. <laughs> no, not just somebody. A little group you may have heard of. But to celebrate TV in general, and that was in the 1990s. So think about how TV has come so far mm -hmm. since then in media and digital media, and you're watching it on your phone and everything else. But it did play a very important role for probably the first 40 years. And I feel yeah. like WGN is part of that as well. And I can't get over what you brought in studio <laughs> yes. here, the drum from the Bozo yes. Circus. And if you don't know at home, the studio we're in right now is where they taped that. Studio them. One, yeah. This yes. is a historic Studio One. And, you know, we were kind of like in, at WGN Television, we were like the lead on how to do local production across America. So it was doing a cost-effective, I don't want to say cheap, like these chairs. Hey, no, whoa! I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. No, no, get I'm kidding. out of here! Don't upset no. Director Claire. But, she these out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But but it was done very cost effectively. So if you really kind of close in and look at this original drum that's from the 1960s, the graphic is from the 70s. It's magic marker wow. and it's just drawn wow. in, which wasn't an HD, so it didn't, it didn't matter, really yeah. matter. But you can see all the line marks in here. But yeah, this is a historic piece of history in this studio. Well, I know Sarah wanted to really bang on the drum. <laughs> yes, she, she did. Was it, would right, it would go right through the drum at this point, for okay, sure. Something else that's yeah. changed drastically yeah. is the options that viewers have. I yeah. mean, back in the day, there weren't that many channels, right? No, there were three, four channels, a couple independent stations. And so when you think about ratings, like you would watch t t Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, there'd be 20 million people. Colbert, maybe 2.7. Million, and that's a high rated show. Wow. If you were watching a sitcom in the 60s, 60 million people would be watching them. In the 70s, it would be 40 million. And now, when you're watching a comedy on TV, 4 million, 6 million viewers. But we all watch different things now. Right. And right. so, those water cooler moments of actually sitting down and enjoying this, like, what shows did you grow up with? Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess Saved by the Bell was one yes, of them. Yes, that's yeah. a good one. Right. Uh, yeah. Gilmore yeah. Girls. Okay. Loved Gilmore, Gilmore Girls. Girls. The yeah. Brady Bunch reruns. Yeah. yeah. But when, <laughs> I, when I watched you on the, when you were doing the morning news, you would yeah. all talk about a show, and then Larry and Robin would talk about a different era yes. of show. So it's very yes. different yeah. based on the generation. Nostalgic. Right. Yeah. Well, and of course, now you can just watch things on YouTube. I mean, it's yeah. just, you just, Absolutely. I don't know what kids are watching these days. <laughs> they're uh, watching YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're, they're watching their news from there and everything else. Yeah, very different. It's all so different. So, how do you, as the museum, kind of take all of that and I grasp it and, and, and show everybody. Yeah, you really got to show the generation yeah. so that when you have a young person in the museum, they understand like where it was and where it's going. Mm -hmm. And we also want to talk to students about getting into the business. Because right. it's so different these days. Yeah. Are you telling them to go into the business? <laughs> yes, we what are. What are you recommending? <laughs> Producers, directors. Be, I mean, so, not everyone wants to be on camera, but there's so many jobs behind the scenes too, right? right? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I remember like my first like communication classes in college were about, you know, the medium is the message. Yeah. And like isn't the it's definition of what TV is is even changing? Like just based Absolutely. on our discussion. Oh, right? Yeah, you know, everyone's a content producer these days. Yeah. Yes. You know, the the most content you can watch, I mean, you you wouldn't have a hundred million views on YouTube is absolutely amazing. Like, like you know, the ratings here are always a, a great at WGN, the morning news, the afternoon news, these these locally produced shows, but Everyone is a content producer, so they're getting their news, they're getting their entertainment from all kinds of sources. But I share some of the classic TV with my kids. Like, we'll do binging on something. Yeah, like go from back my to Happy old. Days or Cheers or something, we'll throw it on because yeah. it's still great to watch. When we talk about the history, too, what's fascinating, I think it was 1927 that the TV was first created. Is that correct? Yeah, it was one By of the world... By a 21-year-old? Yes, it was a world, it was a world... It was Philo Farnsworth, but okay. it was like it was like at a World's Fair. They showed kind of like what a motion oh, picture would look like. Because okay. in, in the 1920s, there wasn't even, you know, video or ta audio in movies. So that was very new. It was really not until the 1940s... 1941 specifically, that television really became something in, in people's homes. And it was the late 40s where, like, um, a Milton Berle literally sold television sets. He was he was the water cooler where you would talk oh, about this I guy see. on the street and people would buy TVs just so they could watch and it. And is that kind of yeah. what we... Yeah, this, yeah, is, a, this so is a vintage 1940s. It's definitely wow. uh, 
you know, it's all wood. It's heavy. It's yeah. a piece of <laughs> real <laughs> furniture. It is. Well, they made <laughs> That's them. what it was back yeah. in the day, right? Yeah. Like, they were beautiful to yes, look at. Yes. Or they would be part of a council, and there would be a bar that yes. was part of your TV. Now I'm into so that. So these and are do you remember, quite too, like you had to get up to turn the volume mm -hmm. or to change the channel? I like, remember there was no... being the remote control because there wasn't remote controls, and my dad would be just yeah. go change that. Yeah. Uh, you were the I remote, was remote control. control. That's Absolutely. how that yeah. worked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Dave, how should people be celebrating World Television Day? Today. Binge on your favorite shows. Today. Really? Absolutely. Okay. And you don't mind if it's on a streaming? It doesn't streaming? matter. No, okay. it doesn't matter where it's on. It Just watch it, enjoy it, whether it's from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, Saved by the Bell. Go home and watch yeah. Saved by okay, the Bell wait. today. Okay, wait. What is the best television show in history, according to you? Oh, according to like, me. If, if they wanted to Deep binge on that oh, today. I would say The Sopranos, probably. Oh, no okay. doubt. Okay, yeah, okay. No you doubt. didn't go way back. Best TV. Okay. No, I didn't go way back. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's definitely classics, but... If you looked at everything, you look at a lot of lists, they always say The Sopranos was probably All one of right. the most well-written shows. Awesome. Real quick, what's ahead for the museum? So we've got two new uh, uh, exhibits online. One is going to be on the history of television commercials and the great debates going back to the television debates of the 1960s. Beautiful. Museum.tv. Like yep, yeah. there you yeah. go. It's on your screen right there to learn more about the history of television. Check it out. Museum Broadcast Communication. Thank you so much. You can, you can beat on the drum during the commercial. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. You can do it. I you wouldn't can do dare. It.